Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about waterfall chart. So your question will be what is waterfall chart? So the answer is a waterfall chart shows the running total of a data range highlighting the values added or subtracted. In other words, comparing the starting point to the end point demonstrating the changes happen in between whether positives or negatives. So a journey between the starting point to ending point we are showing here. The charts which are appearing here are waterfall charts and these are created from Excel 2016 version. Waterfall chart uh, is one of the new chart type introduced from 2016 version onwards. We can make this chart in 2016 version directly from the chart type options where you get this waterfall chart option. But this option was not available in 2013 or 2007 etc. So I am going to explain you two things here. One is how to create this waterfall chart in 2016 version and also how to create it in 2013 or lower versions. I have taken two examples to explain waterfall chart here. One is a company's profit and loss account and another is a company's annual sales performance from year 11 to year 12 and how the journey will be. Now let us quickly jump to another sheet where I have copied the same data so that we can create the chart here. As mentioned earlier, waterfall chart type introduced from 2016 version of Excel onwards, we can create this chart in 2016 directly from the chart options where you have in chart section there is an option and there is an icon for uh, waterfall chart. So the process is select the data go to insert tab where the command in the command ribbon go to chart section select waterfall chart and then waterfall chart is appearing but the waterfall chart is appearing here and the chart is appearing here are different here the uh, few bars are standing and few bars are floating but in this case all the bars are floating except revenue the reason is we need to set few bars as total that means whatever changes are happening in the data range are to be shown as floating values and rest are all as standing. So here the changes are cost of goods sold, sales of uh, sales expenses, admin and general expenses and the gross profit and operating profit are results. So let them be as total. So for that double click on the gross profit bar and then select again. You will get format data point option wherein you need to say set as total. You need to check the box same way for operating profit set as total so we can show a profit and loss account in a very nice way in waterfall chat the way we have shown here so revenue cost of goods sold from there the gross profit is appearing and the balance is reduced by uh, sales admin and general expenses and the final balance is operating profit which is appearing as a, a, a further reduced bar so this way the explanation of a profit and loss account can be done in a very uh, visual way. Same way, let us select the sales performance data. Select the data, go to insert and then go to waterfall, select the waterfall option and your uh, chart is here. And again, here all the, change, all the changes which are whether negative or positive, let them float and select others as uh, totals like baseline is a result and FY12 projected sales is a result so the total so select right click set as total the same way FY12 projected sales set as total so the journey of the sales performance is shown in a very nice way so this way we can create the chart in 2016 directly but if we have to create this chart in 2013 or lower versions like 2007 we can make them but we need to do uh, some additional information need to be ma maintained so that we can create this chart type in 2007 or 2013 now let us see how to create a waterfall chart in 2013 or lower versions in 2016 we can create the chart directly from the data without creating any extra data point but in case of 2013 or 2007, we have to create some extra data point and a slightest manual intervention will be there. 
So first of all, let us make sure that there is no negative value. So I'm making all the negatives as totals, and then we can formulate the totals accordingly. So gross profit will be 200 minus 100. Then operating profit is 100 minus sum of all these three. So that way the total is ready. Now let us add an extra column. Name this as rise or fall. While creating a waterfall chart in 2016 version, we discussed about totals and changing values. Here the totals are revenue, gross profit and operating profit. So let us make them as zero for this column, the rise or fall column. And then the changing value will be the balancing of immediate total minus that value itself. That means COGS will be 200 minus 100. Sales expenses will be 100 minus 10 and admin will be 90 minus 10 and this will be 80 minus 10. So that the total will arrive as operating profit. There may be a question that why we are adding an extra column and adding some information there. Before answering the question, let us complete the process. Select the data, insert, go to chart section and select clustered column chart. Now we can see why we are adding an extra column. Since I am using stacked column chart to arrive waterfall chart, I need minimum two data series. So I am creating one dummy series here. And how I am arriving these numbers? Actually I am seeing what is the running total and accordingly the balancing number I am keeping there. If you see the running total, So 200 plus 0 in the same way others if you see the running total till cost of goods sold is 200 and then 100 till sales expenses it is 100 and then it is reducing the same way the two series are actually behaving so all the totals are standing on the line and all the balancing means all the changing values are floating if I change the dummy series to no fill i'll remove the fill now you can see the chart is actually explaining the profit and loss account in a proper way so revenue gross profit and operating profit are standing on the line and remaining are floating only one difference is that the earlier chart the colors are different for the both the series but in this case it is not because we are using single series to explain all and additional series only the dummy series which we are actually not showing them so for that purpose, as I told, a slightest manual intervention is required. Select this series alone, double click and select the series alone and select any color. So all the total values will be colored with uh, green and then remaining our floating, floating values will be in red. So that this can depict or this can describe the profit and loss account in a better way. Now another example sales performance of a company from year 11 to year 12 values are already there we have created another column uh, called rise or fall for the dummy series purpose we need to make all negatives to positive and arrive the totals accordingly so 210 minus 20 plus 30 making all the totals to zero for the rise or fall column and then arriving the balancing figure for changing values in the earlier example we have all the subtractions because all the expenses but in this case in this uh, data point few lines are adding up and few lines are actually subtracting so in in case of increase in baseline it has to be 210 200 plus 10 and in case of lost customers, it has to be 210 minus 20. And in case of new customers, sorry, it has to be is equal to 210 minus 20. And 
in this uh, case of new customers it has to be 190 plus 30 select the data insert clustered column select the dummy series no fill since everything is a single column I mean single color let us make the different color scheme so all the totals let us make as dark green Whenever increase happened, let us make that as pale green. And for wherever this shortage happened, wherever shortfall happened, let it be red. So this way, we can create waterfall chart in 2013 or lower versions. Only thing is slightest manual intervention. Some additional information is required. And it's quite easy. Very simple way we can create it. I hope you understand this and always you need to practice to achieve this kind of uh, charts and once you practice in a better way you can do these things very easy way in the meantime kindly uh, like my videos and uh, share my videos of course you need to subscribe to get uh, latest updates as and when I upload a new video thanks for now and any questions Please leave your comments in the comment section so that I can reply back. Thanks a lot.